The Horrible Slaying of Jennifer Teague Jennifer Teague was born on June 30, 1987 and passed away on September 8, 2005 at the age of 18 years. She was a teenager who lived in Ontario, Canada and was slain in the early hours of September 8, 2005. Jennifer's disappearance came to light on September 8, 2005 as she was leaving a late night shift job at Wendy's. She had met up with friends in the wee hours of the morning at a convenience store after her evening shift. Jennifer decided to walk home all by herself when she was abducted by her killer. The local residents did an extensive search for her across her hometown of Barhaven. Ten days later, on the 18th of September 2005, Jennifer's body was found by a police officer who was off duty. It was found dumped near a secluded parking lot leading to the Lime Kiln Trail off Moody Drive in the Stony Swamp Conservation Area. Nine months later, on June 9, 2006, a man named Kevin Davis, who was a 24-year-old resident of Barhaven, rushed out onto Fallowfield Road, having stripped naked, screaming in the middle of speeding traffic that he was the one that had killed Jennifer Teague. He kept repeating multiple times that he was the one responsible for killing Jennifer Teague even after almost getting hit by oncoming cars. He was taken to the hospital and charged for first degree murder. He also retracted the statement where he said that he was Jennifer's killer. A few days later after he was released from the hospital, he approached a police officer at a mall and repeated the statement that he was the one who had killed Jennifer Teague. The officer got in contact with the Ottawa police and Kevin Davis was arrested without any resistance shortly afterwards at the mall. A statement made on the Ottawa police website and in a news conference revealed that Kevin Davis had consumed magic mushrooms the day that he confessed to being the killer. Magic mushrooms or psilocybin mushrooms are mushrooms that have an active ingredient that can make someone hallucinate and not be aware of the time of day and their spatial awareness goes haywire. It did turn out that Kevin Davis was actually the one responsible for Jennifer Teague's death. In a court appearance, Kevin Davis revealed the reason why he murdered Jennifer. Her family was in the courtroom listening to Kevin's explanation and they were all teary-eyed. Kevin Davis told the listeners that he was going around for more than a week looking for a young woman to rape and murder. His ideal victim would have been someone younger and easier to manhandle. And this is when Jennifer came onto his radar. When he came across Jennifer walking all alone in those early morning hours, he saw this as prime opportunity. Once he had gotten Jennifer under restraint and control, Kevin was unable to go through with his plan of raping her and then killing her afterwards. He instead dragged her into his home and strangled her, dumping her body near a trail in the suburb of Bar Haven. It was also discovered later in a statement that Kevin Davis hated women which may have played a key role in him abducting and then killing Miss Teague. On January 12, 2008, Kevin Davis said that he would be pleading guilty on all murder charges at the start of his trial, which was to begin on January 25, 2008. Kevin was subsequently sentenced to life in prison with no chance of getting paroled for the next 25 years. During the trial, Kevin said that he would be deserving to get life in prison. 
He also mentioned that if it were ever possible, he would have given up his life to bring back the young lady that he murdered. Jennifer's father responded to his statements. Her father said that he didn't care about what Kevin said because it didn't seem sincere. Jennifer's mother said that she was relieved that he pleaded guilty firsthand so the family wouldn't have to go through the hours and hours of a long journal trial. Nine years after Jennifer's murder, her father and stepmother wrote a book on how to cope with a similar tragedy like how the one they faced. Jennifer's stepmother has been working on proposing a bill of victims' rights. With the help of Victims of Violence, which is a charity supporting and providing support to victims of violent crimes as well as support to their families, the Teague family has been pushing for the elimination of the Faint Hope Clause. This Faint Hope Clause was a bill which was annulled in 2011, which allowed murderers to get early parole after serving only 15 years in prison. How shocking. So this was the case of Jennifer Teague, who was murdered because she was someone's easy target.